Ladies and gentlemen, trolls and premium Snapchat account holders, he likes his coffee like he likes his men, full of his own cum, and whistling Dixies is another one of his pastimes, or is it whistling at dicks? Anyway, it's Jeff! <laughs> I've never seen a man stuck in a constant state of diarrhea, menopause, and dysentery at the same time, all while still managing to neglect his children and erode the relationships around him. It's John! <laughs> <laughs> That's good! <laughs> That is nice. That is nice. <laughs> <laughs> you little whistling at dick, so. <laughs> they whistle at me. Or is it spit? <laughs> Both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's right, everybody. I'm John John. Next to me is my gay lover. I'm just going to let everyone know. All right. so finally, this is the podcast. I'm actually letting Jeff know. <laughs> that letting I'm me know, gay too. And I love you. <laughs> um. The 2GS Show, Glitches Get Stitches Podcast, episode 37. <sighs> John had a little accident on the paper. I'm holding this, this Lip- script, our script. Is that what it's called? Or notes? It's our notes, yeah. Podcast notes, and half of the sheet is just drenched in tequila, and I'm not happy about it yeah, at all. John's about to eat it after. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably shove it in my ass, because alcohol absorbs fast with your ass, right? Yeah. Taking shots for long this whole past two days. <laughs> <laughs> two days. <laughs> but uh, yes, we are back. We're keeping it consistent. We had one last week, and then we'll have one this week. Probably take two months <laughs> off. <laughs> get you guys another one. You know, we're slow playing it. We don't want you guys to get too attached. <laughs> Giving you a good six month plan here. <laughs> yep. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook. Like us, share us, comment, follow us so you see when we go live, because that's where we do all of the streaming at. All the fun games, videos. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, Facebook, Instagrizzle. <laughs> you wrote out Instagrizzle. <laughs> you didn't even write Instagram, you wrote Instagrizzle. <laughs> Don't do that, man. <laughs> also, Twitter. And then, if you want to see where we're from, where everything started, Four Eyed Radio Network. It's our mommy and daddy. Mm-hmm. 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 They neglect us, though. Yep. Just like real parents, so mm-hmm. it's perfect. We're in a perfect relationship. <laughs> uh, subscribe for free. Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. They're all free. You just click the button. It costs you nothing, but it means everything to us. Mm-hmm. The sentimental value is through the roof. Through the roof. Yeah. Topping out at four ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can also... Support us on uh, Glitches Get Stitches, and that's cool for you guys because you get exclusive discounts on upcoming merch, you get supporter on lobbies, you get exclusive videos and content, our couple, our Snapchat you get access to. Am I I missing anything? (laughs) Giveaways, exclusive giveaways. We hold one once a month, and they are pretty fucking dope. Last week, Zoe won our Overwatch a bundle, which is a Funko Pop of Arissa and Zarya, and then a whole sheet of our sweet ass stickers. You can stick them on anything. You can stick literally anything. Anything. People. Cocks. You can cover up your crimes with them. Yeah. No one will know. Is that person dead? Nope. It's just a bunch of stickers with blood nope. coming out of the back of it. Yeah, I don't see nothing. No foul on play. On the here. next. No foul play here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jeff? How are you doing, sir? How's well, that depression? I'm alive. <laughs> so bad. For now. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Jeff has cut back on drinking, so it's real fun for me because he just watches me act a damn fool. He seems to drink every other night other than the one night when we do podcasts. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Fucking liar. What'd you do on Saturday, Jeff? You got fucking wasted. I told you I could. With Bill? Here. Mm-hmm. Oh, isn't that nice? I wish I was Bill, because then I could have more tacos. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it. Was yep. Unrelated to the show. That's good. That's good. I'm glad I fit that in there. <laughs> uh, is, I think it's time for another shot, Jeff. The last and final shot, which I'm sad about. Well, as long as you actually get to mm-hmm. drink it instead of spilling it all over so the let you guys. Page. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Come on, don't try. I need you. I to hope st- you eat the wet pieces of paper and <laughs> mm, suck up nom. the tequila from them. Well, the, see how this chair is like. Yeah, it was like, like a nice little puddle in there. I was like, I fart in that chair so much. <laughs> <laughs> <A> tequila fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> That's like last time when we were gaming, and uh, A-Rod and Jack were looking for their vape. <laughs> like, John, is it in your ass? And I have yeah. been sitting <laughs> on it for a hot while. And I was like, you guys can put that in your mouth. <laughs> your mouth's going to have pink eye. <laughs> they, luckily, they're addicted, so they did. Yeah. No, they got pink mouth. (laughs) (laughs) They got pink mouth. Excuse me. Um, anything going on that you want to speak of? That you? How's streaming? I don't want to. Decent. Yeah. You had some good numbers on your Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday, Friday was a light, but Wednesday was good for you. Uh, I think. I think I took home gold championship of the world and GGS streaming award that week. Mongoose, his numbers were a little lower than usual. Who? Oh, yeah. Emma. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> Emma's numbers are a little light. <laughs> so she got we'll that reach on Jack, <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to talk to her about that. <laughs> uh, Jason's been hitting it hard with ARC. So if anyone out there watches streams of ARC, which a lot of people do, and I'm surprised. I, I, I didn't know it was a big game like that. So he's been hitting some good numbers with that game. He's really sinking his balls into that, which is good. Congratulations also on selling your house, Jason. They did sell us. And bought a new one. And bought a new one. So much stuff going on. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And almost dying today. Yeah, he has vertigo. vertigo? Found that out. Did you like my response? I was like, well, (laughs) I had a dog that had vertigo. We had to put her down, so let me know if it gets too bad. I had to grab my shotgun. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, put you out of pasture, sir, platypus. What's a platypus sound it makes when it dies from a shotgun blast? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. That's accurate. Dakota, aka the Wanderer, has been he he got started on his RP venture for GTA Five, which I think is going to be good. Um, he was having a little problem with focusing on a game and you know we're gamers sometimes it's hard for me to get past a loading screen so i totally get it but um for the streaks streaks for the streams sake <laughs> let's I want keep streaks <laughs> more laundry to do <laughs> uh he was he was switching up games real fast and i talked to him about it and i was like yo let's let's try to focus on a, a game at least for a two hour time span and then maybe you can switch if you want but this is the first stream, I think, that I've seen in a long time that he didn't switch the game. He just played the whole the GTA 5 the whole time. So that's cool. And he looked like he was having a blast with it. So that's, I think, going to be good for driving some traffic over to his his uh, streams. The his RP. Uh, RP. It's blowing up right now. What do you... What do you I don't know. What do you think about role-playing? Gay. Yeah, Jeff's not, not super popular. Uh, Jeff... It's just not um. Again, mm, so so here's the thing. It's like I, I I put on these RP streams for Jeff sometimes, and and they're they're just people talking about getting queefed in the fuckhole and fart noises, and I'm like, Jeff, this sounds like it could be GGS ish. What? Uh, uh, okay. What's what is what is what you don't like about it? Is it the like? There's already like a video game world play that character kind of thing. Why are you playing your own, or is it just GTA Five RP that you're not kind of into, or is it all around role playing? I just never got into it. Just never got just into never. it. Yeah. No. If you were gonna, if make it did, it was not long either. Like no. that part, and I'm like over it in like ten minutes. If you were to make a role playing character in GTA Five, what would her name be? Because it wouldn't be a. I don't team. know. I couldn't keep it up. It'd Miss Queefy McThunderfucks. Be the waste, the biggest waste of time. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Like, I couldn't. Hey. Just imagine doing that for four hours. I'm like, uh, yeah, I like, cannot keep this up. It's me. <laughs> it's it's me. You're like I'm the role dude playing that, myself now. You're like the dude that I almost had sex with from Adult Friend Finder. Well, yeah, I oh, have, now I, I think have. I have to tell that story. You've told it before. Oh, yeah? They just need to go back <coughs> in the podcast history and find it. Y'all heard that? I ain't saying it yet, motherfucker. <laughs> but I am. Long story. Yeah, short, it, it was the dude. Yeah, <laughs> long story. Long story dude. real short. On the way to go have sexual relations. With me. <laughs> and <Yeah>. we did. <laughs> before you left. And, and the, the female on the phone. It was the dude. Broke character. I guess he was a role playing. <laughs> See, even he could do it for that long. That's what I'm saying. 
<laughs> and I, I was do. like, I, are you, are you, I'm, uh, you're a dude. Like, <laughs> I, I know for a fact, but like, can you just say you're a dude so I don't turn right? around? Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, like, oh, I'm a dude. And I'm like, well, what are we going to do after we fuck? <laughs> Play Madden? Yeah. Just got FIFA up there. <laughs> Is there any reason I shouldn't turn around right now? <laughs> <laughs> got pizza. <laughs> Just Perfect. Blood fuck through and slice. <laughs> You're all from where? <laughs> yeah, Spinatos. <laughs> all the way, motherfucker. I <laughs> know. Uh, yeah. So stream, stream. Here for the saw and the bug, <laughs> the butthole. Oh man, yeah, yeah, that happened. Anyway, so yeah, RP. I to me. It's something that I, I just need it to be the right game. It's just, I, and it's nothing against GTA V. Obviously, it's still one of the hugest games out there. But I need, I would do role playing in a game. I think I could handle it. I like to do voices. I tried to be a comedian at one point in my life. If I tried, I did two open mic nights and then quit. I try. I try. That's why I love streaming so much is because it's my platform and I don't have to go to any bars and get on stage in front of everyone. Well, I mean, I still do that. Shit. It's a, it's a, yeah. You don't remember, do <laughs> Yeah. Hey, motherfuckers! Here's my cock. I have one joke. <laughs> Look at this. Punchline. <laughs> All, right. All right, it's time for you to leave. Get him out of here. I like it because at the woodshed years ago, you can ask Carrie about this, um... There was a, a, a bartender that started, the, her first night was one of my raging nights, as tradition <laughs> there, and I ended up showing everyone my cock at the bar. I got kicked out. Then we went there the next night, or maybe two days later, and she was there, and she was like, you're the guy that shows everyone his cock, right? And I'm like, you're Melissa! <laughs> <laughs> hey! I don't know why I do it, Jeff, but I'm glad I do. Here's the cool thing, is that I watched the um, documentary on Chris Farley, and oh, hey. David Spade, and or who was it, Adam Sandler, was like, yeah, every fucking time we'd go drink and he'd show his, his dick to everybody. <laughs> so, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> so make you want to show your dick more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back to RP, <laughs> it's the equivalent of showing your cock to someone and getting kicked out of the bar. I think we skipped a few. Beats? Yeah. But <laughs> and we're back on track. <laughs> no, I, I would do I would do RP, I'm just waiting for the right game. I think I could sink my teeth into something. I was this fucking close to doing Red Dead Redemption, but I would just do Arthur Morgan's voice shittily. Uh, it'd be like thirty percent Arthur Morgan's voice and that's the only really like country pretty good though. Yeah. Not too many other mul- online multiplayer games that have any chance at RP like that that I can think of. Rockstar got that part down. What the, what the private servers they have set up, yeah. They Did you ever try the um, online Red Dead? Uh-uh. No, because you needed PS Plus. Oh, that's right. I could do it. Now you could. I wish I was able to, but I could now. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, for Dakota, we wish him the best, and hopefully his shit blows up. Uh, he's just got like a weird time slot. It's tough. It's tough to get numbers at that time. You know, not everyone can be me, Joe. It's it's. I hate to say it, but like, you know, <laughs> you love to say it. say it all the time. <laughs> and the queef too. Yep. All right. Coming up next, trends with benefits. We'll be right back. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trends with benefits. benefits. Oh, we're back! <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hit snooze on the thing on my computer before it restarted and fucked everything all up. Mm-mm. It would just erase that whole thing. Not, just left. Not like this. <laughs> not like this. All right, that's right. Trans benefits. That's where we talk to you about some shit that's going on this week. The most popular shit. The most trending mm. shit. Mm. Oh, shit. Fuck you, teacher. You said you can't use the word in the description. <laughs> <laughs> what is the definition. Yeah. The word in the definition. <laughs> that was one of my go-tos. Back in, the old, uh, back in the old days when I was in the school, bitch. 
still a school bitch. Don't you fucking say that. All right, let's talk about some things, Joe. What are we talking about? We're going to talk about Amazon Game Studios. Amazon Game Studios? Jeff Bezos Studios. What's that? I don't think it's new. They're, this is the first game they're developing, and it's a Lord of the Rings oh. MMORPG. Oh, yes, that's right. What's MMORPG? Final Fantasy XIV? Uh huh. Okay. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Are you excited for this, or do you think it's going to go straight to mobile? <laughs> I want to see a trailer. A game Could be good. Too. Could be good. If they do it right, it'll be great. Yeah. They need to do it right. They need to do it so right. So right. So right. So right. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes for them. Yeah, this is the first one that they're, they're making. You know, they're trying to go big. Well, they, better, they better do their first one right then if they want to go big. Or they're going to go big. We'll see. Right into your bum. Yeah. Here's the good thing about making a video game nowadays. You're at least going to make $30 million off of it because <laughs> anyone will fucking pay for anything nowadays. I mean, we we have people that listen to this, Jeff. You know what I mean? Like, do, do, they know, do, we, do we know if it's free to play or if it's a... I don't know. Not even that far yet. Not that far. We'll find out. That's all, the, that's all the news I have on that. Just wanted to bring it up because I was like, Amazon Game Studios. What the balls is that? That's new. Mm-hmm. Uh, EA. Electron Arts. Read a nice little or read. I didn't read it. Yeah. I watched a I YouTube looked at video. The pictures <laughs> in the article yeah. uh, about how much they fucking suck now. They lost one uh, percent in their share market value, which is the equivalent to one billion dollars. So that sounds about right. Do you know, and you don't want to know why? It's because they're not selling shit. They're making poopy pancakes. Right. Oh. If they actually if they made poopy pancakes, they would sell more. I'd buy a box. <laughs> yeah, I would too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> poopy pancakes? That sounds great. <laughs> Jeff is about to enter rest mode. <laughs> get, get close. Live on the stream, everybody. Re adjust myself. His feet were kicked up. He was laying back, his eyes were starting to close. <laughs> Jeff! On a podcast. That's <laughs> <laughs> Find us on her. Uh, if you, if I, Stitcher Spirit. If, <laughs> where? Stitcher Spirit. If you did fall asleep, man, I'll just let you sleep. <laughs> just let you sleep until the morning. <laughs> and record the whole thing. <laughs> Your nightmares that you have. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew. Oh, Get me out of this. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Yep. Okay, so EA sucking big titties. Not the good kind either. Maybe. Not like the big titties no. we like to suck on. Man titties. Big old, exactly. There ain't nothing worse than a big old pair of man titties. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's, let's go Let's go back to where it all fucking pretty much started going downhill for them. Uh, Battlefront 2. Mm-hmm. That's when, that was like when they were like, alright, we're going to put, it's, it's going to cost $65 to buy one loot box. <laughs> They went hard on the loot, loot crate system, and we were not impressed. Gamers were like, fuck that, fuck you, fuck this game. Well, um, well it's because it was, there was, it was well, closer to, and getting close to pay to win. There was stuff in the loot boxes that yeah. was better than stuff you could get outside of the loot Better boxes. weapons, like better tanks and shit, or like whatever they're called. Like the first thing was... <laughs> they're like, oh, you can get Darth Vader in the loot boxes, but you can't unlock him any other way. Yeah. People like, were like, what uh, did you just say to me? <laughs> what did you just say to me? That's, pay, that's literally pay to win. What shit, what <laughs> shit, what shit, shit, riot. Yeah. And then, Battlefield 5, shite its pants. It's literally shite its pants. It's, big, it's a big old flop. <laughs> Big old floppy donkey to mash a wine. <laughs> no, it's no good. <laughs> Definitely no good. <laughs> oh, I, I re-downloaded it the other day and tried to play a game. Couldn't even play a game. No one's there. No one's there. Where the, Where are they? They're not there, Jeff. Okay? They won the war. Why are you, no one's going to be fighting the war. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just by yourself. And... <laughs> <laughs> Anybody left to kill? Like the Civil War reenactors, but you're by yourself. You're on the field. <laughs> yeah. It's just the wrong day. Nobody wants to play. <laughs> <Damn nice. laughs> 
Uh, okay. Then, there was a, a bit of fresh air. Apex dropped. Free to play. Before that. Nope, never mind. Did, was it Apex or, or Anthem? Anthem first. Anthem first, okay. So, backtrack. Thought it was going to be fresh. Anthem was supposed to be game of the year tier video game. That's what I, I had said words out of my own fucking mouth. That this game is gonna be it from what we what we thought it was gonna be. That was not the case at all. It it what's the word for what's a different word for sucking mad fucking donkey dicks? Um Queefalicious? Sounds like a hit. <laughs> Beyonce. Queefalicious. <laughs> My body stays heavy. I'll be up in, in the, the gym club. just working on my. F- <laughs> I blow kisses. I blow kisses. <laughs> not, not. <laughs> <laughs> that's com. That's comedic gold right there, folks. It's Clip a, it. <laughs> Clip it. Yeah, picture of the music videos <laughs> on the stair at <laughs> I blow kisses. <laughs> That's good, that's good. So, Anthem came out, and I'm just, I mean, Jeff, did you ever even play it at all? So, they are releasing a new DLC patch, well, not DLC, whatever it's called, um, this month, with the big one, with like the Thunderstorm mission raid. So, have you seen it? Oh, no. Well, that's coming out this month. Will you play it at all? No. Yeah. Were you ever played again? If they need, if they finished like the story. <laughs> yeah. There's, Not just there, a side there, quest. There's probably about six more hours of story they needed to put into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when that happens, I'll go back to it. That ain't gonna happen. So, go fuck yourself. That's what they they told me to tell you that. I got a letter right here. Oh, let me get it. To GGS, addressed to Jeff. EA says, go fuck yourself. We will not be making that. We already made the story. Faggot. Signed, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <Amazon>. <laughs> so that didn't happen. So then, <laughs> okay, a little breath of fresh air. I can't remember if it's end of January or beginning of February, but Apex Legends dropped. And it dropped big. 50 million users first, like, first week. So that was the the light, the shining armor quave. You know what I mean? That was going to save them. It didn't. Because what they did is they let it get so fucking stale that it, they came out the first season and everyone hated it. They're like, this is garbage. I paid nine ninety nine for a skin that everyone else has. <laughs> Whoever, who are all the, that's, they made a skin for the idiots who paid nine ninety nine. <laughs> 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 so the first season blew ass then so but people are still playing it it's a free to play platform it's gonna it's gonna hold traction a bit it, I, I still play it but then season 2 was supposed to be like <laughs> like pretend here's the gaming's asshole mm-hmm. here's season 2 mm-hmm. oh wow open right up yeah that's, that's what it was supposed to be have to get it mm-hmm. yep it didn't it was more like this Hello. <laughs> Open up. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> so, now people were saying that, first of all, they're not buying the season two. They're losing uh, users every day. Do you see Apex sticking around for another year? Yeah, they got another year. That's it? They better get the content. That's why there's none. Coming. They changed the map. <laughs> they put two dinosaurs in the middle of the map. You can blow smoke up on my ass all you want, and I'll come. But at the end of the day, my name ain't Roy Rogers. <laughs> is that the same? It is now. <laughs> all right. Well, there you heard it, folks. <laughs> GGS quote of your life. They just, just like, couldn't come fuck. out fast enough, so. And no, it's so they're going to let this go stale. It'll probably come out in six months when we're about to kill ourselves with the PlayStation 4 because we can't actually use a disc. Because there is no disc. It's downloaded. Digital copy mashed away. <laughs> Digital copy. So, 
The only thing holding EA afloat is their is their uh, sports games, which I don't play any of them, but a lot of people do. Those are yeah. that's like Madden, FIFA, NBA Two K, NBA Two K. It's a big league. Yeah. It's, it's a big esport. Two mm-hmm. K. So pretty much my question to you is: Is EA will they come out alive? They'll be. They're too big. They'll they're too big for, to sink. They'll be around for a while. They'll just murder all the other little, little developers. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, come over here. here. What's that game you're working on? That looks real nice. And then they'll ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would work here? Let's take all this content out and put DLCs after the game's released. And then instead of this part where you get the sword and stuff free, that's old no, school. Yeah, they gotta pay for they it. They gotta pay for that shit. So that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where you stand in my books. Obviously, I have every game that you put out, other than the sports games. I play Apex all the time on my streams. But yet, I hate what you're doing to the gaming community. So, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know, man. Just... Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on before I start cursing. I guess it's going to happen anyway. Fuck that. <laughs> let's talk about some games we're playing, okay? okay. Game this, this month, free-to-play... PSN Plus, if you remember, is Detroit uh, Become Human. Mm-hmm. I think we hit on that last. We last. said it was free. We didn't play it. Yeah. Now we have played it. Jeff, what are your initial thoughts about it? I like it. It's, those like graphics stories. are sweet. Those story. That, uh, that first mission's intense. It's not a John game. It's not a John it's game. A John I'm probably never going to play it again. I'm glad that you didn't let me stream it. You should delete it. I'm going to. Right now. All right. <laughs> Live on this pre-recorded podcast. <laughs> Live on the pre-recorded podcast. So yeah, yeah, it, it looks beautiful. the The story is it's going to be top tier. The first mission is intense, but like, I want to be the person to fuck them. I don't want to pick the story to let them know to go fuck them. I want to do the fucking. All right, but. Okay. What are you talking about? Are you talking about? <laughs> about Detroit? <laughs> yeah. Like that part where he sacrifices himself to save the girl. That is a choice. You don't have to do that. That's what I did. Okay. What did you do? That's what I did. You did too? So I did something else so I could see how it changed the story. But That's uh, why you got to replay it. You need to replay it. You're going to have to like 5,000 times to get all the trophies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I want to be, I want to, I want to run over there and shoot that fucking person. Or, or make them shoot me and save the girl. I want to do that. I don't want to just pick some, some, someone's actions. I can't pick. I need to play. Walking uh, and detective him. part is cool. You could have shot him. That wasn't a choice that I had. He didn't find the gun. I found the gun. I didn't. I had to lie to him. So you got a gun. That's all. No. I swear. <laughs> it's like hanging out <laughs> yeah. right here. It's like, what is that? It's you didn't like, detective enough. No, I, I fucked gun. up. I found a gun. When I was when I was approaching him, it said sixty percent chance of survival. It had, I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. Sixty percent chance of success. Success, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh shit, there was more in that house. I didn't know. I was, I didn't know it was like that in depth it's already. Bitch. Oh yeah, absolutely huge bitch. It's um, a, well, a, <laughs> a huge bitch. Little huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. So yeah, when I got to him, I had to do some sweet talking. And murder myself. <laughs> it was like, I got him up to maybe, se- I think I got him up to 70 by like calming him down and making the helicopter go away and shit. <laughs> like I was like, this noise is, I hate it. And you're all. Yeah, I, I like <laughs> how the guy's <laughs> <his> situation <laughs> under control. He's still got a gun to a child's head. <laughs> He's got it. It's robot We're got good. It. Dinner, to the, at, dinner, Razzies. Back to the station. Let's go. <laughs> I was like, why did he say that? Anyway, situation under control. Other than the guy holding a gun to the child's head. Yeah, so then I got him up to 70, and then the last two were like, I can't remember, something, something, or sacrifice yourself. I didn't have the gun, so that wasn't an option. Because I would have definitely shot the fuck out of that guy. That was one of them. It was, it was one in the other one where you can self-sacrifice, and then I forget what the bottom one was, but the top one was use a gun. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Pow, pow, pow. The whole time he's like, You said you didn't have a. F- <laughs> 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 All of his girls. 
She screams. That's what makes her screams instead of your blue blood dripping out of your machine body. It's this blue <laughs> queefiness from yeah. his brains. Uh, how far are you in it? Pretty far. I, I, I played the first mission and then I moved on to bigger uh, There's three stories you've entered. You switch off every time. The little girl? No. Oh, you okay. finish that one and then you, <coughs> you start as a, a chick android. And this, you can just tell he's an asshole. He picks you up from the store. Yeah. And the guy's like, he's like, yeah, we, we fixed we fixed her up for you. What did you say happened again? He's all hit by a car. Oh, that, no, 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 that's the, yeah, I saw playing right after that. Oh. And then, there, and then it's kind of like the intro scene of them driving. They and drive back to his house. Yeah. And then you do his shit, and that story's pretty intense, too. And then when you finish that a first little part, then you switch to a third guy. That story's pretty cool, too. And then um, after you finish that... It's just a whole bunch of different random... No, it's the it? same three. Just So you play Connor, that detective, in the beginning. Yeah. You finish his thing. You switch over to Kara, uh, which is that chick. You finish the first smidge. And then you go to a guy named Marcus, who lives with uh, a famous painter that's, like, dying. He's really old. And you help him around. And then you finish the thing. And then it switches back to Connor, oh. the cop. And then it finishes and just... Those three over and over until they... They finally just, like, kind of... Interconnected with the butthole. Nice, I like that. Um, maybe, maybe I won't uh, delete it. Maybe I'll play it. That's, I mean, the graphics are so fucking crisp. The other one, this, <clears throat> the, the, that that story for the second one gets pretty intense. Really? Yeah. I could tell that guy was an asshole when he was like, uh, "Car crash or whatever." Yeah, he beat <laughs> the shit out of the thing and then had to get it repaired. I, th- I, th- I thought it was like a molestation or thing or something like that because she's like a little girl. No, I figured it was something fucked up. He like just, that. It's, yeah, he just once you get there, you start cleaning up. Like he's all just berates you, and you like clean up the place, and you find like his drug stash, and he gets all pissed off and, and shit, and he just smokes the whole time you're doing his story. Really? Yeah. It's pretty oh, neat. I want to murder that guy. Maybe I'll play it until well, I murder him. That <laughs> and it might be a path you can take. I didn't do it, but I think you can. I think you can. Yeah. I like it. Because he goes on an insane... <coughs> it's, it was pretty... It was a really long scene, yeah. actually, because it gets into some other stuff where you have to, like, quick time oh, yeah. stuff and move and dodge all this stuff. Oh, really? Like, like trying to kill you. Yeah. In front of his daughter. Oh, it's shit. Her fault for some reason. <laughs> Fuck, maybe I will it's play It's like it. a big, big lifetime story. Uh, yeah. Is. <laughs> yeah. Jeepers, creepers. All right, well, check that out. It's free to play. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. I downloaded that on PlayStation. I, I was going to play it on a classic. I thought you were playing it on a classic. No, I forgot that I had downloaded it for PSN a long time ago. So I was like, oh, since I already had this set up, just do it. Yeah. So I, I started streaming that last night, and I think I'm going to keep doing that. I think I'm going to keep doing that. Doing it and doing, doing it and doing it. And doing it well. I represent Brooklyn. She was raised out in Brooklyn. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so that's fun. That's very, very fun. Uh, Overwatch new event. Event. Summer. Well, summer time. Living is ain't easy. Microphone got fucking green thing. That's not. I don't think that's not that's, it. That's, no, it's not. Okay. I started today, but you won't hear about this until Friday. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably already playing it and enjoying it. Mm-hmm. What's some new skins that you love? Jeff Torbjorn. <laughs> Fucking Torb, man. New. He's got his, he's got his tits out. I want to cosplay that. <laughs> you should. That'd be dope. That'd be cheap as hell. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it at BlizzCon. Who am I going to be? I want to be one somebody one day. <laughs> Maybe stay in school, John. You'll be someone someday. <laughs> Was all over that one. Uh, who else got a cool skin? <laughs> I'm never gonna be anybody. Genji's was cool. He got a fencing outfit. Oh shit, that's dope. And his sword is a fencing knight. Fencing I don't, sword? I don't think so. I didn't really get to see his sword. Because uh, that'd be that would be dope if it was. I would like that. That'd be cool. And then there was a third that was not as impressive. I forget who it was. I can't remember. Reinhardt? 
He got he he gets a rare skin, but he doesn't get uh, okay. Like a legendary. Not a legendary. I don't know, but anyway, check that out. Uh, I'm excited. I was gonna actually do Final Fantasy VII tonight to cover Jason's stream, but um, I'll probably just play that. Uh, uh, do you know if the loot boxes reset, or is that yeah. still a Monday thing? That's a Monday thing. Well, so they reset. But I already, I already got them then. I you got, got you did your nine yesterday. Yeah. You so should have waited. Up. Yeah, you should have waited. I fucked like, up. You did. That's why I asked. Certainly did. <laughs> I'm glad well, I fucked fuck up. You still get your free one. Just because the event started. The same. It wants guaranteed a new skin from the thing. The event. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, okay, okay. Players of Overwatch. Kids of Overwatch. Uh, let's talk about some news in general. Jeff, are you planning on uh, raiding Area 51 with the rest of the America's retards? No. Me either. But I do want to. them to do it because I want to see what happens. I see I'm like one of those guys. guys. I would be like out there, like go get them, taking shots of Mountain Dew and tequila. Oh, I got sneak. <laughs> Bless you, chicken. Did you quit while you did that? Yeah, I might need to wipe. It. <laughs> someone, um, yeah, someone asked me on my stream, "What do you think of the a raid on Area 51?" I was like, "I can't wait to see how many people die." <laughs> I, oh, I mean, it's. It's a government building that you're... It's a, it's a whole site. You're, co you're committing treason at, at, a, at a certain level. Yeah. They're going to shoot you. Yeah. What if, like, 200,000 people start and they just, like, <laughs> shoot one and then, like, all <laughs> back, back away? <laughs> They're like, we told you not to do this. You guys are ass fucks. Yeah, I think Nevada law enforcement actually responded to something... <laughs> they're like, yeah, we are taking this seriously. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, we've batted down to, the hatches. We're going to plan for that. We're all to going to die. <laughs> Dude, <coughs> I, there's going to be a lot of people that learn what it feels like to get hit with a rubber bullet. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. No, I mean, there's going to be. They would, I, sometimes they would probably rather it be a real bullet <laughs> than at least they they die. Forty six. You get hit in the right spot. Yeah, you did. <laughs> a rubber bullet. You'd have to get hit in the eyeball. A million people are rushing. They're going to yeah. be on full auto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mowing down. Oh, that would suck, dude. Fuck that. I want to see it. Oh, I'm going to watch it. It's, they're live streaming it, so I'll definitely tune in for that. <laughs> yeah, and if they don't, then I'm like, pussies, while I sit here in my, <laughs> in my house drinking my spray. I do not do. Population's about to go down. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it's, look... What is it called? Natural selection. It's like, hey, if you do this, you're probably going to die. Let's do it. I mean, that's, how, that's the, here's the crazy thing is that's how I was in Afghanistan. They'd be like, we got a mission tomorrow. Fly outside the, uh, out, out of the, out of the oh. base. Uh, there's an 80% chance to be fired upon. Who wants to uh, sign up for the mission? I don't know. They're uh, like... God damn it. Again? You're an idiot. <laughs> Not like being in the air, sir. <laughs> Feels good gets my skin. <laughs> hey, Cole. Back to him like the same retard as last time. <laughs> Be gentle with him. <laughs> uh, you got it, sir. He's the only one on the plane. <laughs> oh, man. So one time in Afghanistan, we were going to different fobs to get the Afghanistan soldiers because we were training them. And we land in this little fucking place. And then these guys get on the Chinook. And this one fucking officer, Doofy, motherfucker, comes running up with a loaded RPG inside of the thing. I, w I was like, on the headset, I was like, is that guy supposed to have a loaded RPG <laughs> inside of the Chinook? They were like, get the fuck down, get out of the fucking way. You're supposed to take it out before you, and like... He could have bumped into somebody, hit the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Just 30 people shitting themselves Do you to think death. he's raiding Area 51? I hope. <laughs> I, I can only imagine. He's all, yeah. hey, John, remember me? I was like, God damn it, man. What the fuck's going on? I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be good. We'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I, I, I definitely support it. Go in there. Cheers from my house. <laughs> Cheers to death. <laughs> I know, but like, 
Who's who's gonna? Are they are they bum rushing with like weapons? Or are they just going yeah. in like with their bodies? Yeah. Those poor fucking souls. Oh, May God have mercy yeah. on them. No, he don't have mercy. <laughs> yeah, no. I want to see a slaughterhouse. I'll unleash his mercy on them. I hope they like do fucking fifty cal. <laughs> just <laughs> where it just rips your fuck. Have you ever seen? <laughs> Real life with shots that, of a fifty cal. I want to see with the rubber people. bullet though. <laughs> <laughs> it would still rip you in half. Yeah, it would. Dude, the bullet's that fucking big. But it's rubber. <laughs> <laughs> dude, they showed us a video of fifty oh, cal. It blows in the you apart. It explodes your whole body in half, and mul- and it just no, not in half. And there's nothing left from a bullet. God damn. Caliber, That's great. Got 50 caliber on the bullet. <laughs> it still rips they'll probably just out. They'll probably just have a line of just, just uh, tear gas launchers and just as soon as one of them goes, hey, it hurts my eyes, and they'll just run away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then there'll be some other dumbass. Uh-huh. It's like, it don't hurt nothing until they get hit with that 50 cal. Yeah. <laughs> rubber bullet. What if you got a ping pong paddle? Here's the rubber bullet. <laughs> 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 That's my plan. We got the summer Olympics up in this bitch. The, the small YMCA. And <coughs> Hells yeah. All right, let's talk about a little John Carpenter. What's John Carpenter? Who Who is he? What? Isn't that Jesus' name? Mm-hmm. He's John, he was a John Carpenter. the Carpenter. Mr. John the Carpenter, a.k.a. Jesus. A.k.a. Maker of mozzarella cheese Bo- sticks at any local bar. Uh, that was a racist joke, and I apologize for that. Psych! <laughs> Drop the mozzarella sticks, hey Zeus! <laughs> Came in order. <laughs> order up! Right. Yeah, our last dishwasher was named Jesus, I think. Jesus. Yeah. I He would come out and he would always take my bin of dishes and not leave me with the bin. And I was like, I, I was like, Come here, my friend. <laughs> Listen! Amigo. You take a dishy! <laughs> you bring it back. Leave me bin! Cut! The whole just, er, er, never did more, it once. Just put some more mozzarella sticks on. Yeah, <laughs> never did it once. I was like, awesome. It's great. I'll great communication. Dish, I'll be the dishwasher. He probably understood everything I was saying too. Just fuck this fucking go. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. God, suck I my dick. It. I love it so much. All right, John Carver. Direct. Uh. Movies. What you like? Yes. Name one. Never mind. I was Wes Craven. I like. Wait, no. John, John Carpenter. Carpenter. <laughs> Isn't that a Disney movie with John, I think John Carter? Carter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I that's what, what. Here's the reason I ask. I'm not trying to make you sound like a fucking idiot, no. but you're doing a great no, job. But, but I can't think of anything either. That's no, why I'm like, my, well, because I thought he did the first Hellraiser, but I, that also could be Wes Craven. And yeah. I'm getting them confused. All right, you give a little, you give a little Hugo, and I'll tell these people why we're talking about John Carpenter. He's making a new Joker comic for the DC. Uh, from I, I've heard his name before, and I feel like that's a great thing, but I don't know any of his work. That's why I was trying to drill it out of Jeff so I could sound cool and say, "Oh hell yeah, it was." But he's failed us all. He's failed. Us. No, uh, he was. It was horror, but it wasn't. He did all the Halloween movies. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be a little rated R. I hope. Lincoln West Craven was Hellraiser. <coughs> I knew I, I had him. I knew he did horror. I just got my 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 movies wrong. My movies wrong. Oh, Jeff, have you started Stranger Things yet? Not yet. Moving on. He was part of that too. It says here. Hold on, let me go. He was. Hold on. I'll go back to it. I scrolled past it. What did he? He was a writer. Writer on it. Dope. Well, that's fucking cool, man. 2017, so maybe not this season. Uh, yeah, that's season like one. First season. Season uno. Un. So un. Yeah, that that show is the tits. I'm on episode five of the new season, and it's mm-hmm. it's a thrill ride, bro. It's really good. You should, you should, you should watch it. Yeah, should I start that? Or Game of Thrones. Rewatch American Dad for the thirtieth time. I can't argue with you because I'm. <laughs> dude, I, that's what I'm doing right now, every night. Every night, six o'clock in the morning, watching and waking up my whole family. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie hates me. She fucking hates me. 
But yeah, Family Family Guy or American Dad. It is. Anyone, yeah, those two. But Amer- I I don't know what I like more. I like, like American Dad more, but I just found there was like a good, like a year period where I didn't see any of the new episodes, yeah. and now they're finally like on Hulu. Yeah. So I'm watching all the old. They're old now. All the old Family Guys I'd never seen before. It's amazing. Around Hulu now, some of them are. All of them, right? No, oh. I love I love both of them. Anyway, American Dad is the tits. Jeff Lion King comes out Friday. How excited is your heartless, cold soul for this movie? It's not. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Me, on the other hand, I've already cried thirteen times thinking about seeing the movie. Mm-hmm. I went to see Toy Story Four with the kiddos and and Carrie. Guess who cried? This guy. You did. Sonny looked at him. She's like, "Why are you crying? <laughs> you don't get it." Didn't know you were a little bitch, Dad. <laughs> oh, she knows. She, she, she knows. knows I'm a little bitch. <laughs> she takes your beer from me. <laughs> you don't deserve this. <laughs> You're too young. <laughs> yeah, dude. Lion King. Hanada spend the fiend in a mine. It's gonna be good, man. I just, I'm gonna cry the whole fucking time. Why am I a bitch? What part of me is born, a bitch? Born into your soul, I guess. It's DNA? Mm-hmm. God damn it. I thought I was a fucking winner. A bitch winner. <laughs> <laughs> bitch winner. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, uh, that was great. Next up is our main segment, which is about the next three DC movies. Ooh. Hold on to your fucking tits, everybody. Oh. Main segment. Hi, I'm Batman, and this is my friend Alfred. Alfred? Yes, Master Wayne. <laughs> Do you believe it's time for your bubble bath, chef? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my God, that reminds me. <laughs> old old joke with my buddy from California came out that first time at the woodshed for the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forget what where what the context was, but it was... It, was, it had been right around when that the movies just came out. Yeah. <laughs> I remember he's, 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 like, he's like, Master Wayne, what are, you, what are you doing? Do you need help, Master Wayne? He's like, Alfred, I have needs. <laughs> Not sure what you mean, uh, <laughs> Master. <laughs> you need help with something. <laughs> that is good. And every now and then we're we'll just like Alfred. I have needs. needs. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. All right. You're lucky your father's gone, Master. He's not here to see any of this. I used to jerk him off three times a day. <laughs> it was rough. Martha had a tough time accepting it, but she came round. Yep. Oh, she came round. All right. She came round. All right. <laughs> She called me Big Poppy. <laughs> oh, all my years in the military trained me for this moment. <laughs> Is that a new show coming out or a new movie of him when he's young? Pennyworth. 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 Show, probably. I bet. It's on to that DC channel. I it's bet. probably on that DC channel. All right, speaking of DC, how, how are they holding up right now? By the threads on their ball hairs connected... To one last... DC itself is doing fine as a whole. Movie department. Mm, yeah. Is there a movie department? <laughs> DCU? <laughs> DCU universe? Yeah. Um, last time we spoke, I did my little... What really grinds my gears about Shazam. It's not one of your hats. Take that off. That is my hat. Yeah. I've what? never seen you wear it before. It needs to go away. It's because I've... Carrie just a, found it. It's not an 18 degrees or a Charleston's one. You're not allowed to wear it. It's Rocky Point Mountain. Mm-mm. It's Colorado. Not up in here. My sister away. sent it to me. That's okay. You <laughs> send it right back. <laughs> I don't like, like that fucking hat. <laughs> You've got FedEx and Gotham. <laughs> so DC movie. Hopefully that universe died with Shazam. If I never see any of those fuckers again, I'll be happy. I'm just going to say it. You're going to probably... Oh, fuck. I don't even want to talk about it. Alright, let's move on to the next three DC movies coming out. We'll see our thoughts and opinions. 
really we're trying to figure out if DC is going the movie realm if they're just going to stay stagnant or if they're finally going to get a boner fuck everybody with that boner which I'm hoping that the latter happens because <laughs> that sounds like a good sign alright first up <clears throat> we have the Joker with Mr. Joaquin Phoenix okay sounds like a little more Pacino than uh what can I mean <laughs> Uh, am I? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, Walking Phoenix. Are you excited about this? Scared? Or just not interested at all? We've talked about it before. I'm not very interested in it. Because it's Scorsese's directing it. Martin Scorsese is a, is a, is a very, very glorified director. He is. He did Taxi Driver. And he did Wolf of Wall Street. And I'm imagining... Uh, Joker being like taxi driver, and I'm not liking what I'm picturing. <laughs> oh, he's like you feeling lucky, punk. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard rated R. That's a plus. Because yeah. I think in order for this movie to push it to the limit, take it to the limit, mm-hmm. without Batman being involved in it, they're gonna have to. He's gonna have to slaughter some people. He's gonna really have to. Put Gotham through some shit, which I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm excited. I like Walking Phoenix. I think he's good. <clears throat> I like Todd Phillips, the director, old school. Yeah, not, not like this. You don't what you know? No. I'll wait. I'm, I'm not excited. You're not gonna see it in theaters unless some trailer comes out that blows me away. I'm not. <sighs> yeah, I, I. I just because of my not having anyone to watch the children, probably won't see it in theaters, but I would... <laughs> I would see it in theaters. <coughs> the Joker. Mm-hmm. Who's going to be the bad guy? The Joker stuff. He is the bad guy. It's Who's like going to be the good guy? Like Venom. There's no good guy. It's just him becoming... Who's, there's got to be someone chasing him, though. Gotham PD. Alfred? Or not Alfred. Uh, fucking uh, Gordon? Gordon would have been a rookie. rookie but I could, he, do you think he's going to be in it? Um, it? In some way or another, he's got to be. I mean, unless yeah. there's... Do you think we'll see Batman at all? It, if it's anything, he might see the... At the end the, kind of thing. The alley or... scene. Nobody just walks by it and sees it happening. He ignores it and walks past it. Batman or the Joker? The Joker walks by the alley as, oh. as the scene where they're. Yep. Batman's parents are being murdered. That'd be dope. And he just walks by, he ignores it. He so laughs. Stupid like He that. laughs. <laughs> no, because then he. Batman would have to remember to laugh. That could be a whole thing, bro. We just wrote the next five fucking movies. Uh, not like this. <laughs> they need to stop, Hear me out. stop doing Batman for a while. Here's, hear me out. There's a movie called Batman Begins. Right. And all it is is his parents getting murdered the whole yeah, the whole that's movie. The beginning of the trilogy, the Dark Knight trilogy. But it's just that scene played over and over again for two and a half hours. Extended version, six hours. I know I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Watched it before it came over. Yeah. It, yeah. That'd be cool. I would I think that'd be dope. Alright, I'm excited for this. I I when does it come out? I probably should have looked at that. Anyway, we'll let you know next. Um, got him. This year? Be the end of this Chris, year. Christmas? I think it's <clears throat> next year. Okay. I think it'll be next year. Then we have Birds of Prey with Margot Robbie, aka Sweet Tits. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. <laughs> Margot Robbie. <laughs> Birds of Prey. Who's the main character in that one? Jeff. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Is this a after what we saw, or before a story? The female Suicide Squad. I'm pretty sure it's after. Okay. So she she scoops up other... Or it could be standalone. I don't even know. I heard it was standalone. So then it's not... But who are all the birds? Are they their prey? Or uh, her prey? No. But they're all bad chicks. So it's all... So it's the like a female Suicide Squad, except they're not the Suicide Squad. Okay. I'm assuming it's probably... Why do they name it Not Suicide Squad, but her, Chicks? Her probably... Harley Quinn, I don't know, maybe Black 
Canary. Uh, some other bitches. Yeah. I don't know. Because they just sat at the club the whole night getting fucked. Getting schwasty. Margaret Robbie. We're back. That old, so it's like set in like <laughs> the late 90s. It's a... <laughs> Are you excited about this one at all? I'd need to see a trailer again. They haven't even <clears throat> done a trailer other than... I don't even think there's... Are there any stills out from it? I... That one's that one's late next year, I, if it does. After the Suicide Squad, I vowed to myself that if anything came out resembling the Suicide Squad, I would gouge my eyes out with my own cock live on a stream. So up next... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I just don't know, man. I don't know. After the suicide, here's the cool thing: is I can scratch my nuts right now. No one knows it. I know it. Uh, oh shit! I said it out loud. <laughs> they can see it. it's recorded. <laughs> We're actually streaming. I'm just so scared, man. Like, so, so fucking scared, man. It's gonna be okay. I mean, I don't know about the movie, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just in general. Yeah. You'll be fine. All right. After that one comes what I think is probably the best DC movie in the past since Batman vs. Superman, which I loved. I know it got some criticism because it was too dark, but it was it's two superheroes trying to murder each other. Why would it not be dark? They're going to fucking hold hands while they try to murder each other? Like There has to be hate. They should have. They're two of the world's most... They should have worked it out with their words. <laughs> I don't know. What if that was it? Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> they play a game of chess. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Talk about their feelings with a hug. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> so here's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, starring Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, 1984. A lot of uh, a lot of 80s themed movies coming out. You think it's gonna be like a Ragnarok ish fucking disco party, Stranger Things? No, that's Birds of Prey. <laughs> No. <coughs> It'll be just like the last one. But in 1984? Yep. What What happened in 1984? Is that what we're going to find out? Yeah. I can't think of anything on top of my head what made it so special. Yeah. It's just, they so started it's so far story. back. They started so far back that it'd be like a 50 year time jump if they did anything different. Yeah. So, I wonder if she'll have a new ability, though, called Thunderqueef. Where? <laughs> Stolen from us? Yeah. It took, it took our ability. Uh huh. She's like Mega Man. Then we can sue. Perfect. Let's hope that happens. Let's you heard it right here, folks. We have coined Thunderqueef. Mm-hmm. Blow <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and the windows are gone. <laughs> yeah. I just qu- look. I made a queef noise so hard my beard fell out. <laughs> that's, that's how you great. know with dedication. Are you excited for this one, Jeff? Do you like Miss Gal Gadot as? Uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah, that was probably their DC's best movie in a long time. You agree with me? Well, yeah. It was, well, yeah, better than. Better than all, yeah, mm. exactly. We don't have to go into it. We know. Better than. <laughs> better than. A lot. Uh-huh. A lot of what? They fucking Shazam piece of <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry it's gonna that. be the Batman of the next few episodes, people. It's not gonna, it's not gonna uh, let it go of it. It's real mad. Wants us to know. After this back. fucking podcast, I'm gonna fucking tie you up and make you watch that fucking movie uh-huh. with your fucking eyes and my cock in your mouth. You had me tied up. <laughs> you start tying yourself up, huh? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. Uh, okay. Move. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gal Gadot. She's good. She's good as one woman. Well, I like they it. got the exact same director and pretty much everything the same mm-hmm. again. So. Oh, speaking of same directors, that one guy who did Ragnarok is going to direct Thor 4, 4 yeah, which is pretty that. cool. And what? Yeah, I saw that. That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so that's dope. But Thor Ragnarok is my favorite of all of the Thors. That mm-hmm. tone, the 80s tone that they have going, fucking just... Um, uh, oh. 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 Mm, where's he going? That was a... I shouldn't have, I pushed too hard on that one. <laughs> <laughs> did you, do you need to wipe too? <laughs> no. I'm fine. <laughs> Sweat. 
<laughs> Hot in here. <laughs> and it's clay fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about this one. More than Birds of Prey for sure. Joker, I'm more excited. It goes Joker, World War, or Wonder Woman 1984, <laughs> and then Birds of Prey. Just because. More like Birds of Gay. <laughs> exactly. I'm using that the theater. <laughs> When the title shows the up. The first trailer comes out, I go, Birds of Gay. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, they, we'll see. We'll see what happens with, with, with those. I, I think, I, now that I've read that, I think that they all do come out next year. I think that's the list that I saw. Do they all come out next year? I think. Oh, watch this. Maybe. You're going to use the I internet? Still, no, I still have it up. That's what I was going to do. I was trying to use this the whole time. <laughs> you I still got forgot. it up. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. You got there, it up there, this whole there. time. Uh, oh, 2019 for Joker. October 4th. Let's see, Birds of Prey, February 2020. 2020. Yeah, so that means this one will come out. Yeah, 2020. Summer 2020? Let's see. June, June 5th, 2020. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be their summer blockbuster. They know, they know they're know they banking on the Wonder Woman. They know that that's a, a safe bet. Then we then, oh, after that, June 25th, 2021, we got the Batman starring fucking Queef Boy. No. Vampire fucking. God damn, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't, don't want to talk about it. <coughs> I, I mean, I hope to get wowed. I hope I go see Robert Pattinson and he fucking wows me, but I just don't understand some of the decisions sometimes. But I guess that's why I don't get paid the big bucks. Not until our Thunder Queen. Royalties come in. <laughs> mm, and I'll be pushing for that hard. <laughs> and here's why I think I like Todd Phillips for this. Because, yeah, he's he's mostly known for uh, his comedies. The Hangover. Uh-huh. The, um, what did I say, old school. Uh-huh. That one with Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis when they're trying to get oh, back yeah. home. I forget the name of that one, but yeah. And then he also did... Uh, War Dogs, which is really good. Oh, look. The idea is to craft something in the vein of Taxi Driver. You nailed it, buddy! Not looking forward to this. What's going in that vein? Heroin? Mm Mm-hmm. God. Hopefully some cyanide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, that is that for main segment. We'll see what happens with DC. I'm excited to see, and also scared. I'm very scared. I'm like a little bitch boy. Yeah. Little, just scared little bitch boy. I know. I know, John. For real. Shout outs. Shout outs. New star centers. <laughs> oh, God. It's like damn. smeared mascara. <laughs> uh, Austin Woodall. Thank you so much for donating stars, man. Being a part of GGS, we really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, everyone else that donated stars, thank you so much for your star donations. We love the fam. Without you, we couldn't be doing this. And the supporters, John. And the supporters. All the supporters. supporters. And the supporters. Uh, Next week, next podcast, we have some big news coming to GGS, which we will let all you guys know. Big thing for the team and some new initiatives going on. It's going to be very, very exciting. It's good to get over the summer slump with some big news. And then (laughs) hit it hard. Hit it, hit it hard. Hit it hard. (laughs) John's about to come. (laughs) He's not stopping. (laughs) Jeff, anything else you'd like to say? No, I just want my outro beat. Next time, Glitch Against Stitches, episode 37, we love you. Shazam.